I look a little shiny. Hey girls! I'm so excited to be here. Where is my brush? I look very shiny in this live today. It's been a long day. I tried to like touch up my makeup when we got home. Hello! Make sure all of this is oops, up and running. Hi, thank you. Hi, hi, hi. Ava, Anna, Lauren, Olivia. Oof, I am. Lower this a little. Ooh, dip. Hey, Soph. Yvonne. Wow, this hair is looking rough on this slide. Thank you, thank you. How are you guys? It's been so long. It's been almost a month and a half. I can't even believe it. Ariana, Sarah. <laughs> Kayla, you're awesome. Yay, Kelsey, I'm happy too. Thank you so. I have been dying to get a live up and it just wasn't happening. Thank you, thank you. Hi, Miley. <laughs> LB. I might actually have to put my hair up because it's toasty in here. Yay, Lauren, welcome. I'm glad you made it. And my Lauren, Lauren V. A lot of Laurens tonight. Marta. I know, Ava, it's been forever. All right, let's see. Do we want a sloppy headband? Watermelon or turquoise? Ooh, water, uh, watermelon sounds really nice. Yay, welcome first time livers. I tried a new thing where I posted on all my social accounts that I was going live because everyone always misses it. So hopefully everyone catches the memo and those who wanted to tune in can tune in. I have no idea what color I want to do today either. I pulled a ton, but I'm hoping like maybe your ideas will inspire me. Hi, I missed you guys too. I really, really did. Mine are too, LB Hernandez. My nails were so long, they looked so good, and right after we had that hurricane, I don't know if you saw my last video I put up last night, um, we had to clean up the yard and I broke all of my nails, and now they're just super short, so. They looked nice for our proposal, they were like perfect, my dream length, and now they're all little round nubs, but I know a manicure will help. I haven't painted my nails since, I think I took the polish off on Friday maybe, so. They're very happy to be getting painted tonight. Ooh, Fiji pink, is that the SE? I know, I miss my long ones too, but something about the short nails is very liberating. I just can do so much more, I'm not too worried about them. I like both. I think I prefer long or medium nails, but I like short nails every once in a while. All right, let me get my little snacks ready. So I don't have that much tonight. Let me know what you guys are munching on. Thank you, Kayla. You're so sweet. I When I filmed the video, I was like, do not cry while you film this. I'm doing my makeup. I would completely defeat the whole purpose of filming a get ready with me if I just cried my makeup off. Um, so I was trying not to get too like into it or too emotional. But when I was editing it, I was like bawling my eyes out. So yeah, he did a great job. Let me see. Sparkle it up a little. He did such a good job. Here she is. I feel like she needs a name. I love it, I love it, I love it. Ooh, you need a little rehab post acrylic. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, the top of my nails definitely get yellow sometimes. Dan's gonna pop in at some point tonight, hopefully. He said he would, but one of his friends is coming over, so. Thank you, I love it. It's so pretty, it's so perfect, it's just super me. Ugh, I got like, see I'm not very like clean. Thank you, Sunny. Um, so I have to learn how to keep it shiny. But it's so pretty. <sighs> how to not make them yellowish. I'm not totally sure, but I've heard baking soda. 
Thank you. Thanks, guys. Okay, so back to snacks real quick. I'm doing just a liquid IV tonight because I literally have been obsessed with this stuff. Um, this is the acai berry. I like this one in the passion fruit, but I just mix this into my water. That sounds lovely. I only use half a packet, like per cup, just to make it last longer. Um, but it tastes so good. And it makes drinking water a little more enjoyable. So I'm just gonna mix this up first. And then I have some chickpeas. These are sour cream and onion roasted chickpeas. They're so good. I've been munching on them for like three days now, but let me know what you guys are snacking on and what colors you're doing tonight because I really am stumped. Like I want to be really boring and do just like a pink mauve or something like that, but I did bring out a bunch of fun colors, so. The chickpeas I got, where was I? Stop and Shop, I think. Here they are. This is what they are. They're so good. Bina? Bien. Bienna. Bienna. There's literally like a pronunciation on the back, but they're really, really yummy. Hi, Narissa. Welcome. New and old subs. I'm happy to have all you guys. Oh, I'll be there in a Prosecco. I love that color. Good one, so. I have not tried that granola. Blue nails with glitter. That's fun. I haven't tried, uh, tried dried snap peas. I'm not a huge fan of snap peas, but if they were flavored, I think I might like them. All right, our liquid IV is all mixed in. Amanda V, yay! I love it. So much better than regular water. A gel pink ombre. I need to see a picture of that. Bright color, maybe fuchsia. Okay, so OPI sent a bunch of like really bright, beautiful colors. Um, these are their like OP icon colors. They're just some of their most popular shades. And I did an unboxing on my channel a little over a month ago. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see them. Um, so I thought maybe one of these could be fun. Bright pinks, yellow, they're really like bold colors, not things, or not shades that I normally do. So I thought that would be fun to do one of the, ooh, this one looks really good. Oh my gosh, this is the My Chihuahua Doesn't Bite Anymore. This is one of my favorite shades, the original My Chihuahua Bites. Um, so maybe this, or the lavender. I do like lavender nail art. I should try, keyword try. I've never been good at nail art, like ever, ever. Um, okay, so we have like the whole rainbow here. I'll put them back here so you can see. I don't think I'm gonna do yellow. Sorry to anyone who wants that. You could totally go for gel if you want. I, I like gel when I'm trying to grow my nails, but if I wanna just give them a break, I'm totally down to avoid it for a bit. The teal or medium purple? I mean, I guess this is the medium purple. The teal could actually be cool now that you see that. Is that a spear in your pocket? Okay, I kinda like these two. This is like, I just feel like I paint my nails this color every single time, but I love all the pinks. Uh, mauve is my favorite. Lavender or turquoise? What do you guys think about, this is like super orange though. My chihuahua, what is it exactly? My chihuahua doesn't bite anymore. Is this too like bright and orangey? Light purple, light blue. I do like the light blue. Pumpkin spice in a bottle. Oh, hey Kel. I like the light purple. I feel like I haven't done a lavender mani in so long. Don't toot my flute. Light pink, light blue. I'm feeling either like a bright or a light pastel. I don't want anything too, like this is a little too much for me. This is a little too fall, I can't wait to use it. Lavender, teal, blue, light blue or bright pink. I know there's so many. All right, let me swatch a couple while we're chatting. We'll swatch these. I feel like these are the top contenders right now. 
the orange would complement my skin tone. I love orangey polishes as well. All right, so I'll put these here and, whoops. Which bright pink? Strawberry margarita where we see food and eat it. This doesn't even look that pink. Actually, this might be a good one. All right, two, four, six. What about white? Is that too boring? I don't want to be too, too plain. I mean, I love white nails, but I want to do something fun today. Corally pink. Is this the, I think this is the corally pink here. I'm kind of liking this one a lot. We seafood and eat it. I feel like I haven't done anything this bold. All right, let me swatch a couple real quick and then we'll get on with it. White or the one in your hand. Okay. It is a, f a crowd fave. It's like, we got to pick the color to complement this ring. Ooh, I like this a lot. This is actually really, really pretty. Strawberry margarita to the teal. Okay, let's see. We swatched. We see food, we eat it. This one is... Ooh, no. I don't think I like this. This one's like a true orange. It looks better on camera than it does in person. All right, so folks, the teal. This teal, let's swatch this one. I want to do a whole video on nail shaping. I'm definitely not a pro at it, but I do have some tips. And I go back and forth from round to square quite often, so I think I do have some that might be able to help. Ooh, that teal. That's a bold teal. I'm really loving the pinky finger color too. Let's try this lavender or lilac. I don't know what it is exactly. It's so funny. I was with my mom today and she was saying how she would do like a bright orangey coral. And that's like probably what I'll end up doing. Ooh, the lavender's pretty. Bright purple. I hear you, Marta. I see ya. Let's try the blue. You really want bright purple. <laughs> lavender is, I'm never much of a lavender. I'm like really loving this one a lot. This is always the hardest part. I always want to have my color picked before I come on the live because I spend so much time trying to figure out which one to do. Oh boy, the light blue is actually really cool. Ooh. Ah, uh, that could be fun. Thank you, Narissa. I love it. He did such a good job. All right, this is strawberry margarita. If I remember, this one is a little, oh no, well, kind of. It's a little, little sheer, but not really actually. Hmm. I thought I remember it being a little like streaky. Maybe I just didn't shake the bottle well. Oh, that's actually really nice too. Okay, here we go. It's official vote time. So, these are all different colors. These two are the same. What are we thinking? Light teal. What's light teal? This one, like light blue? A rainbow. Strawberry, is that what this is? No, that's this. Strawberry margarita. Teal or baby blue, pinky finger, the thumb. Strawberry margarita. Strawberry margarita is really pretty. Lavender. On the first pinky. This one, this one, it's backwards. I, okay, hmm. The one on the pinky. The one on the pinky seems to be a favorite or strawberry margarita. So between these two, do purple. The blue is cool. I'm worried it would be a little streaky. You know, Larissa, we got to go with what's best for the ring. Okay. We see a lot of pinky and I think that's, I think that's my favorite too, to be honest, out of this mix. That's it. We're doing the pinky. 
this one. The we see food, we eat it. Strawberry margarita. Maybe I'll do this on my toes. I have to do um, a pedicure this week. Thanks, Lauren. Ooh, that was weird. All right, here we go. Here's to not making too much of a mess. Oh, boy. So how have you guys been? I haven't... I don't know. I feel like I've been so out of the loop on social media just in general with everything that's going on in the world. It has honestly been the last place I've been wanting to hang out. It's just a really crazy time between like election stuff, corona stuff, and it's like, you know, it's nice to just check out. But I really missed you guys and I love, love these lives. Cuticle oil is going strong. There's a little more to it. It's a little more involved than I initially thought, but it's coming, I promise. I am so anxious to get that going. Um, I missed you guys too. Okay, clean these up. I should have brought a little thing of water, but it's all good. It is, it's nice to take a break and like, I don't know, not even necessarily a break, but just not immerse yourself in all of the crazy news because it's definitely a little, uh, it's exhausting. My watch is from Amazon, actually. I love this watch. I wear it all the time. I have my little notepad, so I'm going to make a list real quick of um, links that I need to post later or like you know, anything that we reference that I want to talk about. Thanks, Jamie. I am. I am so happy. Life has been really, really good. I mean, it's for as crazy of a year it's been, it's been pretty good. Future Pride. Thanks, Angie. That's so exciting. It's so crazy. I just keep calling Dan fiance. He's probably getting so sick of me, but it's so fun to have a fiance. All right, so I'm just going to round these up a little more than they are. They're pretty shaped to my liking, but since they're so short, I feel like the shape is a little more important just because it's obvious if they're not all the same, at least to me. I'm so bad at filing in one direction. I really try my best, but it doesn't always happen. Daniela, I am a fiance now. Oh my gosh, if you watched my video last night, but like such a dork, but that's all I keep saying. I'm a fiance now. It's very cool. It's all so cool. It's kind of surreal, but it's been awesome. Maybelline Lash Temptation. My files, most of my files I get from Sally Beauty Supply. I love going in there and just checking out what they have and what's new. Um, and their files are really affordable. And I find that they last a very long time. Like more so than drugstore files or anywhere else. Okay, just a little roundup. I wish I brought uh, some water in here. I, wonder. Oh, I spot a bottle of water on the floor. I'm going to steal it from Dan's desk. So like <laughs> two, three weeks, three and a half weeks ago or so, there's some um, we got a MacBook, like a big desktop computer, and Dan got a little desk for this office, so now I share my office with him, which is kind of cool, but. Ooh, you repainted your entire room. I do have a dog. She's not here with me now, though. All right, let me get the water up one sec. Let me put my hair up. Oh my God, there are so many flies in here. They're like attracted to the ring light. Summer. Um, I'm just gonna use a cotton ball. This is kind of weird, but I don't like when I have filed dust on my nails. Oh my God, these flies are driving me nuts. Did you guys decide what colors you're all doing? New flooring through the house and now painting. That's awesome. That's really exciting. Home improvement projects are like, everyone's on it right now. We took a walk last night around our neighborhood and everybody was like doing outdoor landscaping. Ooh, I like the watermelon. We're gonna be kind of twinning with that. 
I don't like to clip my cuticles, but I have a couple of like little hangy things on the side. Not necessarily my cuticles, but. Okay. So we're gonna do the OPI Nail Envy base coat today just because they sent it over with all these colors and um, I love this stuff. Broken nails. I gotta go back through with all these questions later. Is that my fiance? It's so hot in here. Really? Put the fan on. Look at all these flies. My fiance is here. Hi guys. <laughs> you look sweaty. I know, I was up on a fire. You smell like a fire. Thank you. Hi. <laughs> hey Kayla. Lucky boy, that's you. Oh, I am a lucky boy. I prefer a man though. <laughs> <laughs> Not as lucky as me. Aww. What have you been doing? We were just picking colors. Yeah. You want to guess what I'm going with? That Do you color. care? No. This one. Nice. What it's... color? We see food and eat it. Nice. That's the pick. I told Congrats. them to make a quick Thank appearance. you, guys. Appreciate it. Boy. Thanks for all the support. That's awesome. Keep supporting this girl. We work hard in here. He's the best. Do you have anything to say about being a fiance? Like, how do you like it? Does life feel a little different or? Yeah, more secure. I like that. I kind of feel the same. Thank you. You're like locked in now. Nice fly. The proposal. We went out to a picnic. All planned by this one. Yep, and then the, the family was there afterwards at a winery. We all just celebrated. It was fun, great day. It was a great day. I thought it was gonna rain, but it didn't. And uh, it was perfect weather. It's great. We looked out. Yep. It was awesome. I get your computer up too. I just like to make sure it doesn't go down. Nice. All right. Well, I got the future best man over. We're making a fire. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for supporting her. Thanks for popping in. Huh? Yeah, Veronica. That's what I'm talking about. Support the man and queen. All right, guys. <laughs> Have a good night. <laughs> Bye. Oh, boy. Oh, is that your thing? All right, he's back out to his boy things. I'm a little jealous they're outside because it's so hot in this room. And in front of this ring light. But, yeah, he did a great job with the proposal. Like, I was very, very happy and very impressed. But Mrs. Manny Queen, that's hysterical. But in last night's video that I put up, I shared some pictures and some footage from the day and just kind of recap that whole experience so if you want to check that out you can totally go do that after the live of course we got to get through these nails um i wanted to do my base coat before i came on camera so it was totally dry but i'm gonna do my best to whoops here for us you guys are awesome we're, we are like just at the beginning of wedding planning conversation um, and trying to figure out what we even want to do. Like if we want huge bridal parties or something more intimate, but we definitely have our, our people in mind. But with Corona and everything, we don't even know what's going to be allowed in terms of like venue size and um, guest count, uh, what's even available. Everybody from this year has kind of postponed their wedding to next year, so availability is really limited. So we're just trying to do our best to work around all the other weddings that we already have on tap for next year without interrupting anyone else's plans. That's what I really don't want to do. I have a couple family members and really close friends getting married next year, and we're trying to be very courteous of their wedding and all their wedding festivities, but... It's gonna be really interesting to see what actually happens. But are any of you guys married? Anyone in this chat? I feel like a couple of you are. I've been following Champagne and Chanel. Yeah, she got engaged like right before I did. Cra she got engaged, well, it wasn't a picnic, but it was in a park. 
in October. That's exciting. Wait, are you getting married October of this year? My cousin was supposed to get married in October of this year and they pushed it to October of next year, but it's just the restrictions are so crazy. At least in Connecticut. I was married for 20 years. Wow, good for you. That's a lifetime. All right, I'm gonna start painting slowly. October 10th. Oh, I am crossing my fingers hard for you. Eight years, congrats, Sheila, that's awesome. Yay, Issa, eight years, six, <laughs> been engaged for like six years, really? Have you actually been engaged for six years, Kayla? How's that going? Oh, Kels, today's their anniversary? I remember them talking about it last week, but I didn't realize today was the day. 34, that's nuts. I am doing regular polish. I'm doing the color you guys all picked. Thanks, Alina. Did I say your name right? Alina? That's a beautiful name. Hey, Isabel. No, I haven't seen uh, the third season of Selling Sunset. We saw the trailer the other day, though. Oh my god, blind date parents. That's awesome. I have to, like, concentrate when I do the paint or else it ends up all over the place. All right, guys, I'm really happy with our pick. Oh, Veronica, that stinks. All these blind dates, that's awesome. I i don't think I've ever been on a blind date. The idea is kind of fun though. I feel like it'd be, I'd be open to it. All right, we're going real slow tonight. This color is going to photograph so pretty in the sunlight. I already know. Oh, of course I smudge. Dang it. Uh, I'll have to take some pictures tomorrow. During the day. Oh my god, I love it. Yes, it does look very nice with the ring. Isn't there like a show blind date or a movie? Oh, no, I'm thinking of Love is Blind. For all you Love is Blind fans, when you were mannying with me during quarantine and we were like raving about Love is Blind, did you see Kenny got engaged to his like secret girlfriend? She wasn't secret anymore, but after the show, it came out that he had another girlfriend. I feel so bad for Kelly. I was bummed that they didn't make it work. I loved Kenny though. He was so sweet and... His parents were so sweet, and Kelly's mom was so, so cute. I'm glad I'm not the only one who saw. Thanks, Kelsey. A lot of practice, a lot of patience. They always come out better when I'm not drinking a cocktail, so I'm happy to have water tonight. I love Love is Blind, and I'm really wondering if they're going to do a season two. I don't think it'll be nearly as good as season one, but I would give it a shot. Excellent question, Kayla. Am I doing a wedding series on my channel? I really want to share some wedding content throughout this whole process, but I don't know exactly how much or exactly what. I don't want to like inundate the channel with wedding stuff but I definitely want to incorporate some of it just for like my own memories too, because it's so exciting. It's so fun. It's also pretty. Um, but what would you guys want to see? Obviously I'm going to do some wedding nails and oh, wedding nail videos. Like what color manicure am I going to do for my wedding? That's a huge, huge question. Probably a light pink just because it's my go-to anyway, but Maybe we can, we could do like a couple test nights out with where we like to swatch polishes. Cause I'm doing my own wet, uh, wedding manicure for sure. A nude would be good. My girlfriend did white nails, which was actually kind of cool. Um, I don't know if I should try to attempt some vlog style videos, which I'm not a huge, 
I mean, I love watching vlogs, but filming vlogs is actually pretty difficult because you have to remember to carry your camera with you everywhere. Um, yes, we'll keep Dan in the loop. I'm thinking of sharing just like all the girly stuff. Nothing that really involves him. Um, baby pink for sure. I think that's what I'm going to go with. But anyway, vlog style videos are so fun to, to look back on and to put together, but they're kind of involved, but maybe some, I don't know, maybe dress shopping experiences or maybe I could just film a few clips throughout this whole process and compile a little video every month or so. I don't know. I do want to document it in some way, but leave me your suggestions in this um, either thread or comment after this video is over. What you think, what you'd like to see, specifically for me too, like what you enjoyed watching, but what I could put together for you. Ooh, there's a little fuzz in here. Because I'm kind of stumped, to be honest. Dress shopping, diet, exercise venue. I'm with you, LV. That's what I'm thinking. The memories, even just putting together that video last night and having a couple clips from our proposal. So that video that I included of us getting surprised by our parents, Dan's dad had um, filmed that and sent it to us. And it was like, I watched it like right after he sent it, but I hadn't revisited it again. So watching it while I was editing that video was so special. And just literally that one little clip made me so happy. So. I think I'm gonna try to make a true effort to document some of this process because it is special and, and we're both so excited and it's something that you'll always cherish. It'll be so cool to like show your kids one day. I don't know. I'm still all new to it, but I don't wanna be annoying about it, but it is exciting and I love watching other people's wedding content. Fall nails, video, diary of memories, I agree. Um, I do take some vitamins and supplements. I have a whole video about all that, but off the top of my head, the ones that I take every single day are Juice Plus, which is basically a, I don't, I'm really bad at explaining these things, but it's like dried, they're capsules of dried out fruits and vegetables. There's like 30 in each capsule or something, um, 30 different varieties, but Dan's sister sells them. You can check out her Instagram at the healthy cal zone. I'll link it. Let me put it on my little list. Um, and I take those every day. I take the fruit blend, the vegetable blend and the berry blend. And then I also take the hair, the nature's bounty hair, skin and nail gummies, which are so good. And I swear those work really, really well. I've taken those for years, but I'm definitely, I want to get my nails in shape for wedding, for the wedding, which that won't be a problem, but a little more concerned about my hair and my skin. Also got to get on the workout, uh, the workout train. I need to find um, some good routines and just tone up a little. I don't want to go crazy though. Hi, Brianna. Thank you so much. Oh, you're so sweet. I have to go back and read this. It's going so fast. Um, I've done nail extensions in the past. Um, well, I don't know what you mean by extensions exactly. If you mean like poly gel, no. But if you mean acrylic, yes. Or silk wraps. I have done silk wraps. But I'm not a huge fan of extensions. I, I can feel the fake, like the fakeness. I don't know how to explain it. Something about the natural nail is just a little more, I don't know, it just feels better. All right, as I'm doing this, it's like pulling. Does this ever happen to you? It pulls the polish. I don't even know if you can see. It's still a little wet. I really need to let these dry well between coats. It is therapeutic. Nail painting is super therapeutic. And I haven't done this in a while. So I'm trying to just enjoy this mani. I might do three coats based on how these are coming out right now. I love this color though. Great pick. Thank you, Kimberly. Oh, Stacy's friend. I didn't recognize your last name. 
thank you for identifying yourself. I always feel so bad when I know people and I'm talking to you, but I don't realize who you are because um, I don't put two and two together. Oh my God, Elva, I'm sorry, but I'm so happy you're here. <laughs> you know this is more fun than work anyway. Smudged again. Um, the color is We See Food and Eat It. We See Food and Eat It. It's just a regular OPI. I have, I'm very excited to announce, some Olive and June polishes coming my way. I'm so excited to try them. Um, I'm guessing they'll arrive this week, so maybe I'll get a video up using one of them within the next week or so, or like two weeks. But if you've used any Olive and June polishes, let me know how you like them. Ugh, I am not doing a great job. I just see them all the time. Their bottles are so cute and their colors are perfect. See, I'm saving my pastel Manny for the Olive and June. Ugh, I'm missing your comments. It's so hard to do both. Okay, Olivia is a fan. Um, I'm not getting, I don't think I'm getting a collection. They just asked me to pick uh, six shades. So I sent them like six shades that I liked from their website. Oh, that's awesome, Kelsey. I'm so glad. It's so easy to paint. Well, it's not easy. I don't want to say, make it sound like that. But once you practice, you can totally manage a salon manicure at home and save yourself some money. And enjoy it along the way. Like, it is super therapeutic. I love the lives. They're so much fun to chat with you, but it's definitely a little harder to paint my nails on them. You don't want to trim your cuticles. You just want to push them back. And then you don't have to trim them. Thanks, Daniela. Oh, my gosh. So if you did see my last video, what did you guys think about that Charlotte Tilbury foundation? How off was that color? It was so, so bad. It was, like, yellow. Looking back at it, I was like, ugh. But the foundation itself is amazing. I've never been a fan of, like, actual airbrush makeup. Oh, the bronzer is amazing. The bronzer is so good. I'm already like blowing through it. It is hard to pick a shade online for foundation, but I think I was on the Sephora site when I ordered it and they had a shade matcher. So I typed in a couple of the other foundations that do match my skin and that's the one they recommended. Totally wasn't the right shade at all. Yay, Veronica. Welcome to the DIY Manny life. So good on this side. All right, part of me wants to wait... Actually, I'm gonna fill in like the sparse areas and then I'm gonna go back for a third coat and then hopefully that'll be enough. Um, what else? Oh, I made a little like uh, talking point list because I feel like so much has happened. So, <laughs> Before we got engaged, for like three weeks before, I was on um, an antibiotic for Lyme disease. So I went hiking with a friend the week before my birthday in June. And we got home, or I got home, uh, checked for ticks. I laid on the couch, knocked out. Dan got home not too long after that, walked by and saw a tick on my leg. So he pulled it off and it had kind of already started to latch. It wasn't really, um, what's the word? Like it didn't blow up, it wasn't swollen, uh, but it had definitely latched to my skin. I didn't think much of it. The area on like where it bit swelled up, but there was no bullseye. So I didn't think too much of it. And then about a month went by and I started getting really, really crazy symptoms, like super, super brain fog, like completely not feeling like myself, really bad headache, weird neck pain, and they all were kind of 
um, related to Lyme disease. They could be Lyme symptoms. So I went to get tested and they drew my blood and they test 10 different proteins. And then there's like different sets of proteins. I don't know, whatever. There was one set of protein and if five of them were positive, you definitely had Lyme. Two of my five were positive. So there was maybe a trace of Lyme. So long story short, they give me the antibiotic. I really didn't want to take it because I didn't think I had Lyme. Um, and I didn't want to be on the antibiotic for 21 days. You couldn't be in the sun. Um, you couldn't eat certain foods. Your stomach, like major stomach issues. I just wasn't looking forward to it. Fourth of July was coming up. Um, like just July in general, all the, you know, sun activities. But I ended up taking the antibiotics and finished them. No, I was still on them while we got engaged. So we're like sitting in the middle of this sunny field. I'm not supposed to be in the sun. Um, and it was fine. But I finished the, whatever, dose a week and a half ago. And I have to call the doctor to see if I should get retested. But it's pretty crazy. COVID testing. Oh my God, I'm terrified of getting tested for Corona. Like absolutely terrified. It looks so scary. It looks really scary and really painful. This liquid IV is so good. I normally drink the passion fruit. Like this one's my absolute favorite, but I had an acai berry one open. This one's really good too. I posted about it on my Instagram the other day, but they gave me a coupon code just because I love it so much. You can get 25% off the entire site and free shipping, which is like a pretty good deal with code Amanda Bella, FYI, if you're interested. Um, the other day I talked about the energy multiplier too, which I drank the energy multiplier on Sunday and got so much work done. I had so much energy yesterday. I couldn't even believe it. And I'm really going to chalk it up, I think, to the energy multiplier because I normally don't have that much stamina. Oh God, the Corona. Yeah, liquid IV when you're hungover is so good. And I also like their sleep multiplier too. Okay, I think we're almost ready for a third coat. They feel like a little sticky. Do I wait a little longer? Blackberry lemony drink my Ooh, yum. Yeah, it really works great for a hangover. After we got engaged that night, we drank so much wine, like so much wine. I downed a whole pack of this in the morning. Does anyone know anyone who's gotten Corona, like directly in your family or friends? What are we gonna do there? I was on vacation. I was away last week at the beach, so it is a natural tan. I, I don't tan my face anymore though. I wear a baseball hat at the beach, so I just spray tan my face when I got home. Veronica, you had Corona? My son's godparents. Oh, that's awful. Ugh, wine hangers, hangovers really are the worst. They're so bad. Fiance, best friend. Oh my God. Kayla, that's so scary. That's awful. I'm so sorry. It's such a weird virus. What is it? A vi is it a virus? Yeah. Coronavirus. Duh. Um, it's a weird virus. The symptoms are so strange. So you tested positive, but no really. That's the weird part is like some people have zero symptoms and some people just get it so, so bad. Oh my God, Kayla, that's so sad. I am so sorry. The one-year-old had it? Uh, it is frightening. And it's weird because everything is starting to somewhat go back to normal. But like, is it safe? When are we really going to be in the clear? We were in New Jersey last week. Um... And they're still a little more strict down there. Here, we're starting to open up a little more and things are slowly getting back to some kind of normal. And the numbers have been pretty good in Connecticut, but in your states, is it still a major issue or is it kind of quieted down a bit? Yeah, this whole vaccine thing. I know, we don't need to talk about coronavirus. I know it's so sad. 
Oh, California. And those fires. Oh, my gosh. The fires. That's Those have been so crazy this week. Logan County. Ava, what state is that? Yeah, it's good to take it seriously. I mean, we're taking it pretty seriously in Connecticut, I think. Kids are supposed to be going back to school, though, like part-time. That's the weird part to me. Ugh, smells like smoke. The fires are scary. Ugh, be safe, all my California friends. Those freaking fires, they just rage. It's absolutely horrifying. Ooh, no school opening. I, th I really don't see how or why they're going to open schools. It just, if, if you can't go to half these places, like restaurants or the library, like why are you going to send kids to school? Yeah, the homeschooling is. School every day with masks in New York. The masks are, has anyone else been getting really bad mask knee? Like my chin, I have been breaking out on my chin so much lately and I could not figure out what or why. And then I was like, oh my God, it's from the freaking mask all down here. You can't see it because I have a ton of makeup on. But when I wash my face at night, it's like very, very obvious. Oh yes, let me show you my ring. Any opportunity to share it with you guys. Here is the beauty if it's focused. I think we picked a really good manicure color, guys. It complements the ring very much. It is. It's so beautiful. I, I love it. I actually love it. I never want to take it off. I don't really take it off. He did a great job. I'm a very simple girl when it comes to jewelry. I don't like anything too, like, flashy or, I don't know. I just, I love this. He did so good. I'm a gold girl. Like, all my stuff is gold. So the only thing I had to hint at was I really want um, a gold band. Preferably a thin gold band and, like, a rounder stone. I've tried square stones in the past and I just didn't love how they looked on my fingers, but at the end of the day, I was gonna be very, very happy with whatever he picked. And he did great. He literally hit it out of the park. I couldn't have done it better myself. We have been together. So we went on our first date in July of 2018, but he asked me to officially be his girlfriend in October of 2018. However you want to count that, but it's been almost two years. Um, but we met in college. We met in college. What year? 09? The fall of 09? So we met one random night. We were both like, I don't remember meeting him. <laughs> I do. I vaguely remember meeting him. He was out, I think at a party, and I was out at the bar. I'm a couple years older than Dan three years if we have to be technical. Um, I was at the bar with my college girlfriend. So he was out with his friends. We were all walking home and I guess we met on the walk home. And I invited him up to my suite to hang out. I guess we were hanging out in my common room and then he went home. But I really don't remember where I met him. I thought I ran into him at like the student center or something, but he swears that's how we connected. But we linked up on Facebook. We were Facebook friends for like 10 years. He ended up I mean, I ended up graduating, starting to work. He finished college, graduated, went to California, became a chiropractor, went to school out there, worked out there for a bit. And um, he was in a relationship. I had been in a long-term relationship and both of our relationships ended kind of around the same time. Still didn't talk to each other or communicate. And um, he ended up reaching out to me like a few months after all of that, but I didn't know what he was up to. He had no idea what I was up to. I guess he followed me on Instagram. I didn't follow him, but he really like showed up in my life at the most perfect time um, when I wasn't looking for him. Ooh, and it was so cool. It was a cool, a very cool like rekindling way, but it was crazy. Like we both had two totally separate lives. Both kind of came out of relationships and started getting back into the swing of things. And then, um, you know, enjoying the single life for like five minutes and then he showed up, I was like, wow. Yes, I love Dan too. He's great. I wish I remembered what fingers I was already painting. <laughs> He's so great. Yeah, it's a really, it's a really cool story. I did not go looking for him, but I definitely prayed for him, like for someone just like him. And he showed up in my, my DMs, I slid into the DMs. 
he likes to pride himself on that, but it wasn't very suave. It was just really, like, nice. Um, yeah, it was cool. It's a very cool story. I didn't want to, I don't know, the dating world scared me a little bit, but I didn't have to venture out for too long. It is perfect. It really is. Trust the timing of your life. Trust God's timing. I keep so many girls over the years have kind of asked me about this and I've been open about my relationships to an extent just because I think there's some valuable there's some valuable things to share especially as women like you know most women want to get engaged and married start a family um or they're in relationships that are just they're not really going anywhere and you're wondering like when's it gonna happen um are we ever gonna progress there comes a point where you either move forward together or you have to go your own separate ways and i think a lot of times of course as girls like we're we're nurturing you know we want things to work we we put all of our effort and energy and eggs into this one basket and and sometimes you have to walk away from relationships that aren't really serving you in the way that you want them to and they're not going down the same path as what you ultimately want and that's the hard part because we get stuck there but I just keep telling girls who ask me, when you don't feel, when your gut is just telling you that something is not right, you have to, you have to trust it. You have to be your own leader, guide your own life because no one is going to do it for you. And that is the craziest thing. Like everything really is truly in your hands. And I had to walk away from a chapter of my life because I knew it wasn't leading me where I ultimately wanted to go. And I closed that door so, so hard and never looked back. Like I appreciated everything in my past, every person in my past, everybody brought something to my life, taught me something. But when you know that's not where you're supposed to be, you have to walk away and not look back. It's when, when we like look back and we kind of linger in the past what did I read recently? The past is a place of reference, not a place of residence. And I love that quote because it's so true. Um, you can't live there. You have to be open to new opportunities and the future and you have to go after what you want because it is there and it's waiting for you, but you have to be ready for it. You can't be kind of stuck in that limbo where you're like, maybe this is going to work. Maybe it's not. Maybe someone's telling you like, wait for me or we're gonna make it happen or just I don't know there's so many different things but trust your gut because you know your gut knows and I can't like preach that lesson enough like if if my life went as I planned for it to go I'm 32 now I just turned 32 which is so crazy and I thought that by my 30th birthday I would have all my children I would be married I'd have at least three kids like I remember being in college writing a a life timeline and at 21 I, I remember vividly writing on this timeline eligible for engagement which is so funny when I think about it now as if I had any say in when I was gonna get engaged but it's a joke like you cannot make plans you make plans and God laughs that's what they say and that is the truth he will throw you for a loop but I really had to put in my time and my work and trust and everything really fell into place how I always imagined it would. Might have taken me a little longer than I anticipated, but I promise it does all work. You will have everything you want as long as you allow yourself to have it. That is what I say. Preach. <laughs> so, yeah. I literally made a list of like my dream man. And um, it's so cheesy. Everyone always like says this, but my sister and I did it for fun. I was like back on the single scene. I made a list of my dream man and when Dan showed up in my life, he checked off pretty much every box on that dream man list, which sounds so, it doesn't even sound real, but it's so true. And all the important things were checked off. You know, family, uh, career, like healthy, athletic, you know, wanting to, someone who just wanted to enjoy life. I don't know, I could go on forever about how he's a really great partner and what he brings to my life. I think he brings way more to my life than I do to his. Maybe he would disagree. I don't know, but you gotta learn from each other. And it's just, it's crazy. I, I posted something on my Insta this morning about, you know, when you're a woman and you see everyone start to get engaged or have babies or buy houses. Um, 
you're like, when's it my turn? When do I get to do that? And you will get to do that. I promise you, you will. It's just going to be when you're meant to do that. And you have to believe that and keep moving forward and being positive. And it sounds so cheesy, but it's, it's honestly the truth. I am proof of it. <laughs> End rant. Okay. These are, I think they're pretty much dry. They're just about ready for a top coat. Where are you guys in your manicures? Thank you, Lucas. I'm a little sweaty right now. Is anyone on top coat yet? I really want to do mine, but I'm scared it's going to smudge. Good face. All right. Here we go. We need a nice thick top coat. I'm using the Sesh V... Gel top coat in my last hand. Nice. All right, Ava, we're we're like neck and neck. Bye, so Thanks for popping in. Sao Paulo, Brazil. Nice. I miss traveling so much. I miss being able to even think about traveling. Like it's not even a thought because it's not even possible right now. But where are you guys going once the world opens back up? What is your first stop? Hi, Natalie. You just caught us. Florida. Oh my God, Florida's got to get its stuff together. I'm hoping, I'm really hoping we can go somewhere warm this winter. That would be nice. We got to go to Aruba last year and it was honestly a dream. I think about Aruba almost every day. Yay, welcome to your first live Manny. Leslie, second coat. Perfect. where I want to go. I kind of want to go somewhere unique. Somewhere, definitely somewhere outside the U.S., but within the U.S., I'm dying to go to Utah. It's the most random place, but um, I, I'm dying to go. It looks so beautiful. Your nail polish shouldn't pop off in chlorine water. It shouldn't. Maybe certain polishes, like junkier ones, but you should be okay. Dream honeymoon. I, I really would want to go anywhere where I can stay in a hut on the water. Bali, the Maldives, Fiji, somewhere far that I would probably never go again. <laughs> Yay! The nail aid bite. And that's so funny you say that because on my way home today, um, I got a notification that nail aid tagged me in a video about the biotin ultimate strength. Um, on Instagram and I was like no way this is so cool they had taken a bunch of video clips from a few YouTube videos and uh, they used one of mine and I was in the clip with nail career education I don't know if you know her but she has the most amazing videos and I felt so honored to be included ah oh, Diana you're making me so jealous I need to get to Utah it just seems like the spot All right, we are almost done. We have four more top coat fingers left. I'm very happy with this Manny choice. You guys nailed it, no pun intended. And I am capping the edge. When I cap the edge with the Sesh V, I really do notice that my nail, or my manicure lasts way longer. This one, the Sesh V. Honestly, one of my all-time favorite top coats. It's so, so good. It wears like a gel. It's thick. It's shiny. Your nails will last forever. The only thing is it has a little bit of an odor, and it tends to get a, a bit thick um, when you're like halfway through the bottle, which sucks. So I do prefer the out-the-door, the I and M out-the-door fast-drying top coat, but this is like way better. 
Amazon, I, I have to be honest, I've never tried gel polish from Amazon. I get emails a lot from Amazon sellers asking if I want to try it, and I just, I'm not terribly intrigued. I'm a jealous user through and through. Their gel is my favorite. But I would be open to trying it. Kelsey, do I want kids one day? For sure. God willing, I would absolutely love kids. We will see. Okay, thumbs. Thumbs there. I feel like a new woman. Nail biotin. Um, the Nail Aid Ultimate Strength Biotin is a base coat that I was heavy into in the fall and winter and kind of the spring too. You can get it at Walmart and it's amazing. With regular use, you'll notice such a difference in your nails. But today I used the Nail Envy, which is another awesome, like strengthening base coat, nail repair kind of thing. All right, nails are done, they are painted. I feel so good. Oh, it has been a while. This looks so much more orange than it did when I started. Yeah, look, they look so good. I wish they were a little longer. You know, just a smidge longer would be nice, but it's all good. I'm happy, very happy with this selection. Thanks, Ariana. Ooh, yay, Annika, you know what's up. The Nail Envy is where it's at. All right, give this video a thumbs up, this live, if you haven't done it yet. I wanna see how many people are here. I love that color. Yes, you have to, Natalie. We'll be twinning. Um, I'm super happy with the selection. Thank you guys for helping me pick. You always know. Thanks, Diana. Now I have to pick outfits that complement the orange nails the rest of this week. I have a ton of stuff in my pipeline for videos, blogs, Instagram. Um, I just, I'm ready to hit the ground rolling. Hit the ground rolling? Hit the ground running. Um, but let me know if you have anything in mind that you'd like to see over the next few weeks. Um, because I'm definitely getting my content calendar in order. And I like to hear what you guys like. What time is it? 9.04. That's good. Solid hour. I was going to put cuticle oil on, but I don't think I have one handy. I should use one of mine. Where is it? This drawer is such a mess. Do you guys all have... Uh, like a desk drawer or junk drawer in your house that's just filled to the brim, or just me. Oh my god, Claudia Conway, I saw that today. She's an interesting one. I use all kinds of cuticle oils, but the Sally Hansen Vitamin E is my all-time favorite. I love that one. It's so, so good. Whoops. But it's not going to be as good as mine that I'm creating, which will eventually be available hopefully soon. Dollar General Foundation. That's kind of cool. I don't know if I have a Dollar General. I have a Dollar Tree though. I could check that out. I love your suggestions, so keep them coming. But I'm going to wrap up this video because it is now after nine and it is a work slash school night. I don't want to keep you guys all night, but I'm so glad that we got this. Finally got this up. We got to get together and paint our nails. I missed it. I love, love our lives. And I want to do another one soon. I don't want to wait a whole month and a half before the next one, but thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to send me pictures of your manicures. Tag at the Manny fam on Instagram. Um, I like, I like to keep all the manicures there just cause it's easier to keep track of them, but, um, check that page out on Instagram. You can follow me on Instagram at underscore Amanda Bella. Subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so yet, there's going to be a lot of, a lot of fun stuff, a lot of wedding stuff, of course, more nail stuff. And yeah, it's going to be an exciting rest of 2020. We have so much to look forward to at the end of 2020. The year's got to end on a high note, right? It's been quite the, 
quite the year. Um, you guys are the best, and I will see you in my next one. Whenever it'll be, I'll let you know. Bye.